YouTube. It's your boy Chuckin' with Big Said. Um, we got some downtime. <clears throat> our truck fell pre-trip yesterday. We was going to run one of our uh, our low our lows that we kind of. My wife has found a. She's found a broker in Ohio, so I've been running back and forth Ohio. It's like a four and a half hour trip, then back to the house, you know, and it's three hours back to the house. I have to go an hour north of Michigan, but it, she'll find me a, a backload coming back to uh, Michigan. So I've been going there, coming back every other day. But uh, anyway, I was going to pick up one of those loads and I did my pre-trip and um, she, uh, I, well, in fact, I did, I was going to do my hush phone. Let me turn that down, y'all. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> I did my pre-trip and uh, I noticed that there was uh, a milky, milky oil coming from my power steering, my power steering pump. So I was like, that don't look right. And I was still, I parked, I was parked at the Loves and uh, so I pulled over there and I said, hey, uh, I know this ain't supposed to be overflowing like that. And they said, yeah. So I called the dealer and um, I called the dealer and they said it probably just needs to change the fluids and screen change. Loves can't do that, they're not qualified. So I'm down for a couple of days. I called one of my, uh, the local shops that I go to, which is Potpourri and it's a pretty good company. And they got good prices. Their labor rates is like 70 bucks an hour. And you got some dealers that be like 130, 140, $150 an hour. But uh, anyway, so we got some downtime, so I just we just gonna chit chat with y'all for a little bit. Um, I'm the trucker. That's the dispatcher. <laughs> uh, our channel name changed. Um, it's now trucking with the Burks and not trucking with Big Said anymore. You know. But, and that's because you'll be saying a little bit more of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Big Said is still here. Um, yeah, um, we got our channel. It's gonna change a little bit. It's still gonna be the same, you know. We're still gonna do some trucking, some dispatching. Um, wifey, shout out to her. She bought me a, a GoPro 10, so now my videos are in 4K. You know, um, I really appreciate it. She see that she she know that I like making videos and um, connecting with people on YouTube. So, um, uh, if you if, while you're watching, can you uh, hit that thumbs up, the like, the subscribe? comment if you want to or you got anything to say um you know that you like to say or a question that you would like to ask us um but anyway basically we got time on our hands we got um the truck going in the shop tomorrow um they should have that changed or oh, most most places said that they were out two to three weeks the dealers and stuff like that but I, my, my little shop up my little my, my, my shop my little honey hole over there um, but uh, yeah, they said they can get me in tomorrow, change that out, um, and we should be back on the road because she's already got me a little book for Friday night. Um, but yeah, she, I mean, she loving it. Like, I mean, she, she's staying pretty busy even, you know, like, yeah. it's just, they're just calling. Do you have other trucks, other trucks? I mean, she, she I mean, we really almost don't even have to search for a load at this point because we, we, we ran loads for what? I mean, brokers, you would think 15, 20. Oh, oh man, maybe 30 or 40. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but so can I just like hop in real quick? It is so important to like keep a good report and like a great relationship with your broker, like whoever you're dealing with, whatever company you're dealing with. Um, because when you do that, um, they kind of look out for you, you know, you build that good little solid relationship and it doesn't become a problem. Like we had to cancel a couple of loads this week. Um, I was a little sad, but, <laughs> um, you know, safety first. So after we cancel those couple of loads this week, um, already that same broker has reached out like, Hey, you know, we can give you that same load on Friday, same rate, blah, blah, blah. So we're back up and running by Friday. Same broker, same company, and they were so understanding and so helpful. So if you have a good report with your broker and a great relationship with them, um, they're just like normal people, you know, so just, you know. And that was the second time we canceled this week. 
and they've been really good, nice about it. I mean, you get some brokers like TQL, and, yeah. <laughs> and they get salty. Or, you know, some some brokers will get salty if you cancel the load. You know, they'll be, well, I'm gonna put somebody else on it. We had we had one. Uh, they blackballed us about two months ago. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they put they us did. on the black the blacklist after we waited there for eight or nine hours for a load. Yeah, we, that wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't ready, and uh, we told them that we, we we was gonna pick another load because we were there for a very long time, and we was ready to go. We had something to do. I had an appointment I had to go to, and they were gonna make me late for my appointment at home. And um, so I told them uh, we're gone, and I mean they, that dude was pretty mad, wasn't he? Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know we we actually dodged a bullet, so yeah, cause. Uh, she she gets on the the uh, dispatching. What do you call it? Is it one on one or on Facebook? Freight freight dispatching one on one. Freight dispatching one on one, and uh, she actually gets a lot of tips and stuff on there. And the guy on there said that they were a shitty brokerage anyway, and they will more than likely let us come back to them anyway. Even though they they're saying that they 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 will let us book a load through them later. You know, just just right now. He said he said. Basically, that we wasn't missing anything with, no, with them. We dodged a bullet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much that's what he said. But uh, yeah, um, everything's been going pretty good. Like you know, with the trucking, I I would uh, I would say with me being home every other day and the weekends, the way that we run, especially during the winter time. But my long term goal, our long term term goal. It's for me to be home every other weekend, if not every day, with our own authority. Um, and right now, we're kind of doing that. You know, we got some good freight coming out of Michigan. It's a lot of good freight coming out of Michigan. And um, that's the long-term goal. But, you know, we're still grinding, trying to build up the bank account some more, the uh, the business the business account. And then, you know, you know, like, because you're supposed to pay yourself and say, and keep stacking the money in the business. So... We try to get that business side of it built up. And um, what a lot of people don't know is uh, we had about, what would you say, how much credit we had used to start the business? Mm. I know we used probably 30, 40 grand in, in credit. Yes. Which almost all of it is paid back off. We have no lien on our truck because we took... Um, 15 cash put it on there and 20 from our bank which they didn't they didn't ask to put a lien on the truck or anything um <clears throat> but i explained that in some of the other videos but uh yeah everything is going like pretty good like with that side of it um the home time has been excellent um i'm learning my house a little bit more because we moved in june we moved here in june so when i come home I might not know where, you know, the cheese the hot is at. Sauce is the hot sauce is at. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, like you know, it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, man, we didn't really want too much. Um, we ain't gonna stay on here too long, but uh, we just trying to, you know, let people get to know us a little bit more. But uh, I, I mean, if you want to work from home, dispatching is where it's at. I would say that. Um, Cause my wife, like I said, she has college degrees, and um, she's loving it. I mean, she gets to stay home and she gets to boss her husband, you know. But uh, <laughs> 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 I'll be out to tell her sometimes because she was the manager at her other job. She was the boss. Like, hold on now, look, we co-bosses. Relax, chill, chill, homie, chill. Yeah, chill. But uh, yeah, um, and. I would say, like, you know, she gets more time to be more hands-on and way more active with our kids. That's mm -hmm. the most important part. They, they're they not missing an appointment. I mean, they're not missing nothing. They're school every day. I mean, she can just be there for everything. And that's really important. When we were both working regular nine-to-fives, um, they would miss out on a lot. They would miss out on a lot. But um, is there anything like you want to say? Uh, no. Thank 
you um, to all of our subscribers, our new subscribers. Um, just thanks for supporting our page um, and continuing to look on. Um, with, like I said, we will be getting into a lot more dispatching th uh, things or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all we got. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We just popping in at y'all for a minute. But uh, love life. And most importantly of all, love yourself. Because you've got to love yourself in order to love somebody else. you got to take care of you first. Then you can help everybody. It took me a long time to figure that out. I was always trying to help people. Like, oh, let me help you do this or give you a couple money. When I, when, I, when I have no money, you know, I would be trying to help people out. Give them, oh, here, here, let me buy you this, let me buy you that. Before I even have myself established. Establish yourself and love yourself. Then you can help somebody. Then you can help somebody. But, uh. Man, we love y'all. Appreciate all the support. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you are a driver, an owner operator looking for a dispatcher, give us a call. Matter of fact, email us at dispatchingdoneright at yahoo.com. Email us. We will beat anybody's price, anybody's rate or what they're charging you. And like I say, I'm making it depends. I make whatever I want to make, but uh, right now I'm averaging at least anywhere from five to eight grand, and I'm home every other day and the weekend. So, shout out <laughs> to my business partner, my homie, my friend, my dog, my roly, my roly, me and my girlfriend. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, them last to the bloody yeah. But anyway, love y'all. Peace. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.